this choice behind you now you can do anything one voice but you can sing don't change a thing embrace your fears and find their meaning time that is the suffering the forgotten path the new found dream I'm terrified, I never live With no regrets to keep me up at night Feel so alive and loving it Had to survive, so I finally learned to fight Laughter and cry for the fun of it Now I finally see the light Don't wanna waste a single minute Now I finally have you, got you Bard, hello, good morning, what's happening? by my results uh, not surprised you know I work my I work my ass off but um, my fiance actually did a great job emceeing the whole thing which was really cool and uh, I can't I won my age group so there you go that's all we can ask for right my uh, so the guy it was pretty wild because so here's the story when I moved to Texas from Buffalo, I was at the national championships and I met a guy who, he, uh, we were in transition talking to each other and the guy was like, I'm from Dallas. And I said, I'm literally moving there tomorrow because I moved, 
on my way to on my way to uh, Texas, I did the national championship and kept going. So we became friends, you know, and he's an elite guy. And the way the race was set up, you know, we stayed in touch and everything. And he actually sold me help. He's, a, he's sponsored by Playtry, who sponsors USA Triathlon. So he helped me get this bike last week. And uh, he's an elite athlete. And the way the race was, it was all staggered. So you didn't know, you know, you just did your race. You didn't know who you were racing against, really. And I beat him by six seconds. So I was really happy with that. I was really proud of that. But yeah, it's, uh, I think we have a new tradition. My uh, fiance is pretty excited. Going into it, she's like, I'm not doing that. Stop telling me. I'm looking at it right now. She's like, I'm not doing that. Stop asking me to do that. And uh, by the end of it, she was having the time of her life. So it was cool. We switched up the setup again today as well. We keep switching it up. We got a new desk, so had to had to accommodate. I live. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I appreciate that. He said. Uh, he said he wasn't trying, so I feel like people say that when they lose, you know? <laughs> I wanted to be like, yeah, exactly. I want to be like, where's my sponsorship now? Give me, let's go. <laughs> He's a nice guy though, but what, uh, so it was, um, you know, cause of social distancing and everything, you just, they made you leave like right after the race. So we left right away. And on our way out, I saw that guy. And when he sold me the bike a week ago, he was like, dude, after the race, we'll catch up. We'll talk about what you got going on. I'm like, all right, cool. And then when we saw him on our way out, he was like, all right, man, see you. And he just kept running. And at the time, I didn't know what place I had come in. Um, I didn't know what place I had come in. I didn't realize I won until I got home. So we kind of pieced it together and realized, I think it was angry. Hey, he beats me literally every time we race together, but that's Saturday, baby. How's your training going, DeBard? How's everything going over there in the Nidoans? We were just looking at, uh, her Facebook memories and it was exactly three years ago no yeah yeah three years ago last week that uh, we were in the Netherlands and we were like damn we want to go back that was one of our favorite places we've ever been man that place is beautiful really cool everyone was so nice that's, that's what the uh, nice part about it was. I found it so helpful and nice. We really liked Rotterdam too. Rotterdam was sweet. Yeah, man, I, I liked it. Do you know who Adam Curry is by chance? Everything I know about the Dutch is through Adam Curry. I don't know if you know who, if you know who he is. He was uh, an MTV uh, VJ. Yeah, so I listened to his podcast, and he, uh, I guess he's a big deal in the Netherlands. He was an MTV VJ here, and uh, he basically does like media deconstruction, but uh, he said lunch with the Queen stuff, so that's pretty cool. Right? You guys got a queen, right? Um, but he talks about the Dutch all the time. I love your guys' accents. I didn't know Ray Space was over there too, right? Is Ray over there? He 
you have a king now? Don't you, isn't it a king and a queen? No? Is that not how that works? Yeah, I didn't know Ray was over there too. I was watching him yesterday. And it's, uh, it's, it's awesome. Do you guys ever ride together? Are you guys really? Because the Netherlands or Holland isn't that big, so you guys can't be that far apart, right? I mean, it's not like, you know, if you're on one side of Texas and the other, it's like eight hours, nine hours, maybe even more. I don't know, I've never driven it. There you go, it's a nice ride. He rides 100K to you, you ride 100K to him. That'd be fun. Never rode together. So, you're north of Amsterdam, I think you said, right? Where's he? 100K one way. It'd be a big day. I don't think you want to do that. <laughs> 200K in one day? Doable. Maybe not enjoyable. <laughs> He's southeast from Rotterdam. Okay. Very cool, very cool. I can't wait till we can travel again. I'm uh, a week from today, I'm gonna be in New York. I'm gonna be in Buffalo for, for six weeks at least. So the stream's gonna look a lot different. <laughs> I'm doing it for my buddy's guest room. So it should be pretty interesting. <laughs> Hopefully it all works. That's sweet. That's really cool. Because 100K was say like, so that's not a far ride at all for you. A far drive, that's nothing. That's cool, that's what I love about it. That's why I was thinking over here for TwitchCon, it'd be really cool once obviously it's back, you know, if we all went and all met each other, you know? All of us that, basically talk to each other on a daily basis, I think that'd be pretty sweet. But God knows when that's gonna happen again, you know? That sucks. Yeah, you guys are crazy into cycling. Like you guys and the Belgians, right? I bet there's, I bet you've developed quite a Quite like a community over there of people from Holland and everything. This, that's uh, very cool. That's why the sense of community that you get from this platform is really neat. And I think the sky's the limit. I think people are really just starting to see it for what it is, you know? Like even that 100K day I did with my buddy from Buffalo, you know, I really haven't talked to him in like, like that. In a couple years, you know. So even doing stuff like that is just there's so much, uh, you know, there's just so much inherent value to it. It's cool, especially now. Oh, that's really cool. So the Dutch, Belgium, Germany, Croatia, Sweden. Don't forget, don't forget your boy Matt in Slovenia. <laughs> It's not too close though, isn't it? Yeah. But that makes you guys more tight knit, right? Sloving here. <laughs> Matt's ridiculous. I enjoy have you seen his vlog by the way? Go check out his vlog on YouTube. It's really good. I was I'm very impressed by what he's what he's doing with that thing. It's really cool. I told him I'm his biggest fan now. And then he said, no, he's got a lady. So I said, all right, I'll be your second biggest fan. Yeah, his, uh, what he's able to do on that is pretty cool. So I'm actually, maybe, maybe you can help me. I'm asking everybody. <laughs> do you know of, because when I'm back in Buffalo, I'm gonna do a half marathon. 
and I thought it'd be cool to do another IRL stream, you know, but obviously I don't want to hold my phone for the half marathon, and like a GoPro, you need Wi-Fi connection, and obviously I'm running 13 miles. Yeah, the GoPro, I think you need a Wi-Fi connection. Like with my phone, I can just, you know, it just streams over. Yeah, record it. So instead of doing it live, just record it. I think that might be the move. Yeah, I think that's probably the move. All right, man. Go have fun at your meeting. I'll be here. I'm not going anywhere. Jenny, we gotta find that GoPro. I think I, I can stream it. I wanna stream the half marathon I'm doing. There's two on that, uh, there's two on that, uh, Saturday. There's one on Grand Island and then there's the one in Algonville. Oh, Joe, that's a good call. That's definitely a good call. Because my phone, yeah, I can, I can't hear it. Um, Joe, that's a good idea. I think I'll do that. Because I have, uh, have T-Mobile, and you can make it a mobile hotspot. I do have LGE, yeah, or LTE. Awesome, see? That's why I ask. Because those who are not as technologically inclined get help from the people that are. So there you go. Maybe I think that's the move. That's sweet, all right. I'll have to figure that out. That's pretty cool. I think it'd be fun, right? Nothing wrong with a little IRL action. Because I was going to have another triathlon I was going to do the same way I did the last one. But me having to go up there for six weeks kind of put a kibosh on that. Kibosh? Kibosh? You know what I mean. Yeah, so that's a great idea. I think that's going to be the move. Good work. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate that. Didn't even cross my mind. Firing those legs up here. So, as usual, we're just chipping away at the Everest Challenge and beyond. Trying to get that Tron bike. Heading up Alpha the Zwift. We got a nice, you know, this is the little spin up part, but then Two minutes of chilling, then the main sets, and then the cool down, and we gone. Chipping away, slowly but surely. It's crazy how much farther you have to go after Everest to get that damn bike. I had that news broken to me a couple days ago. Upsetting stuff. <laughs> That's okay, we'll get there. We'll get there at some point. Maybe I'll be in the cool kids club someday. Let me sit at the cool kids lunch table. We'll see. <laughs> oh. All right, so what do we got here? We got five by eight minutes at 225, three by 115. Good stuff here. Good stuff. So how's everyone doing? As rumor has it, the Thursday's the new Friday. So K Toyota. Oh my God, is that Mr. Toyota? Like the Toyota? Wouldn't that be something? <laughs> Ramp test this evening to ease back in. Yeah, that's it's a nice calm way to get back into it, huh? <laughs> well, good luck. Are you uh, are you going to be streaming it? Because I would I like watching other people suffer. So I'm in. 
basically the way my setup is for working from home. My desk is right here, and then obviously my Twitch setup is right here. So I just stream all day. <laughs> Joe, that's true. But, you know, if you don't want anyone to see that pain, I feel you, dog. I did my ramp test a couple, uh, maybe about a month ago now, and uh, my freaking, I got most of the way through it, and then my damn sensors cut out. Like, are you kidding me? To be perfectly honest, I probably only had like another minute left in me anyways. But, you know, you wanna go to the, you can't go anymore. I still had a little bit of juice in there, but that's okay, it happens. Technology, man. I was worried today wasn't gonna work, because I, you know, switched everything around today, but we're good. Fans over here, so it looks like I'm riding in the wind. Looks like I'm a big fatso. My stomach's inflated or something. I promise I'm not. I don't know why I'm promising you that I'm not fat, like you care. <laughs> oh, this person next to me is in a race. Let's go. <laughs> so let's take bets. How far up the mountain do you think I'm gonna make it today? I bet, I'm gonna say the fourth switchback. That's my guess. But, could be wrong. I'm wrong all the time. We'll see. I'm gonna say fourth switchback. That's my final answer. The one that says four, you know? When I'm turning four, I think that stretch is where I'm gonna end. We'll see though. We'll see, I don't know. It sucks, because I'm just constantly, every workout I do is just up the mountain, trying to get that Tron bike eventually. But my workouts are basically like just short of the top of it. So I basically never get that masochist badge because I always stop short. I'm probably close to it already if I finished them, but as is life, as is life. Joe, when are you doing your ramp test? You said this evening, what part of the world do you live in? It could be evening right now, for all I know. But who knows? And as always, we hop off the bike, and then it's a mad dash to get ready for work. That's my little, my little groove that I'm in right now. It's just always chaos. Get off the bike, jam as much food in my body as possible, and then go to work. <laughs> All right, Joe. I'll keep an eye out for that, though. Do I follow you on Zwift? What's your Zwift name? Let me follow you on Zwift so I can see your results. Or at least set an alert so you're going live so I can cheer electronically from Texas. How does that sound? Also, great pick on the Spider-Man avatar. I don't know if you picked that or not, but you're the first person I've seen have that, so I'll give you credit. All right, now how the hell do I find you? Here we go. Uh, find Zwifters. Joe Miller. Heard. Boom. Great Britain. With the headset on. 5'11". Hey, we're the same age almost. I'm older than you, but I'm 34. Just turned 34 today. Okay, you'll be right back. I'm talking to no one. Hustling up the hey, we got to three million uh, water droplets. I know you can use them to buy stuff at the store, but I don't get too excited about buying stuff at the store. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what I should buy. Any suggestions? Greatly appreciate it. I'll buy. I got money to spend, baby. It's a bull market here on Zwift. All right, switch back 20. Boom, we're in it, baby. We're in it. 
I'm gonna drop my gear and up my cadence here. See if we can't keep it around the 225. Here we go. I went from about a 78 cadence to 85. I think this is gonna be more where I should be here. These 225 sets. But we'll see. I don't know. So yesterday is a part of my back. So I lift before I go hop on here every day. So yesterday, as a part of my back day, I did a bunch of deadlifts. And then today was leg day, so I did a bunch of squats. So, needless to say, my legs are pretty heavy right now. But we just ignore that, and we just keep pushing, you know? Just ignore it, push through, right? See, that's the difference for me. I like lifting. I know a lot of cyclists don't like to lift, but my background, I was always a sprinter, explosive sports, football, I was a sprinting swimmer, uh, baseball, you know, that kind of stuff. So I've always lifted. I never want to give that up. So I wake up nice and early, get to the gym, get it done before I hop on here. Bada boom, bada bing, we're good to go. <laughs> but it stays like this where it's a real push to get it done because my legs are feeling pretty heavy. I did, what did I do today? Did leg extensions, did squats, did uh, the split squats, did some jump uh, box jumps, did uh, a leg curl machine, I did some wall falls. If you've ever done those, those are brutal. Um, I think that's about it. it. Took me about an hour, and then we're just Hightail at home and hop on here, baby! So we only got five of these bad boys. So as you can tell, my heart rate's going up. You know, we're feeling it for sure. But not, not impossible. You know, I don't know how some of you guys race on here every day. That's crazy. Maybe not every day, but like every other seems a bit excessive. So I gotta watch. I use this because I'm training for triathlon. I'm not in here to race and shit, you know? So I see it as like a check box, like a checklist. I come on here, I do my workout that my coach gives me, and I'm out of here. But I'll see like some people on here, like Dr. Weevils, for instance. That guy's insane. He's on here for like hours. Just racing, riding around. I think it's cool. I don't know, like, I can't operate like that. I need a plan, I need a goal. You know what I mean? I can't just be like haphazardly riding around, you know? That's just me though. Everyone's dis different. Everyone's distant. Everyone is distant. <laughs> All right. 16 seconds. Woo! One of five in the books. Making our way up. What do we have? Switch back 17 here. All right. Coming up. Cool down a little bit here. Catch my breath a little bit. You know. Not that I'm out of breath. Because I won't shut up. <laughs> Jay Jasper. Thanks for the ride on, dog. I don't know who you are, but thank you. My beard gets all itchy. Does that ever happen to anybody? I get all itchy when I sweat. Oh boy. Team ODZ coming in hot, baby. Bruce Smith likes it. Bruce Smith likes it. That's all that matters. Team ODZ. The funnest people on earth. Are you rating? I can't tell. This Wags guy really flood my inbox. Justin coming in hot. F Cancer. That's a creative name. 
Don't believe that's probably his real name, but you never know. You never know. Jerry, what's happening? Justin, what's going on? How was your ride today? What did you do? The Thursday, the Thursday rides, I can't make it to those. I, the only time, so this is my train of thought. I was just talking about this. I was talking to myself, but I was talking. Um, I lift and I can't lift and like, going to the gym after work sucks, man. Jerry, that a boy, sleeping in. Nice, congratulations. I did not sleep in. Oh, so you're just finishing up, Justin, nice. Yeah, I, <laughs> hey, it's fine. I understand it. It's one of those, it's like that mind game, right? As long as you have the first and the last letter, you can jumble up the rest of the letters, you still get it. That's science, baby. <laughs> that is, that's good. <laughs> it has been raining a lot in Texas, so technically we are moist people. That was also a bad joke. <laughs> um, yeah, I lift in the morning, so I can't go to the gym after work. There's too many people and too many like, it's easier to go after work. So there's like the casual gym people there just like hanging out and taking up space. And that drives me nuts. AK says right on. Thank you, AK. So that's why I got to get it done in the morning, you know? So I get there at like six. Yeah, I did. So Jerry, that's a good idea for me. So I found, I found this plan and I'm probably not doing it right. Like as far as like procedurally, you know, but hey, I'm going to do me, right? Uh, I did legs today, so maybe not the best decision, but it's not really a decision. You know what I mean? I'm following a plan and I'm just doing it. So that's it. Case closed. Yeah, I did, uh, did a bunch of stuff. Never skip leg day, bro. Kittens, welcome. Working and working. You need that tattoo. I think you need to get that tattoo. Good. Kitten, what are you doing? You just pull up your sleeve. Working and working, bro. <laughs> OJ, how are you? Welcome. Welcome. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. It's uh, good to be alive, man. Yuri! You've got <laughs> karma. Yuri, welcome aboard. You got some karma. You got a goat scream in there, so there you go. Welcome. Everyone's gonna dance for you in just a moment. So stay tuned for that. Coming in hot. <laughs> but OJ, I'm doing great. Doing great. Had a, had a race last weekend. And uh, you know, next week I'm I'm just I'm going to New York. Buffalo for uh all right Justin see you brother Yuri your concept two bikes coming in today there you go that's a big day let's go oh I bet Yuri that's awesome OJ thanks for uh for hopping out Yuri here come the dancing here they go they're going that's for you dog <laughs> uh what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, OJ, thank you. The uh, I won my age group, so that's all you can ask for, right? I think I was, I forgot what place I came in overall. But yeah, won my age group and beat someone that's kind of like a local celebrity, or not celebrity, but he's an elite guy, so I beat him, so that was cool. Kitten, can you believe it? I've never, I've never done a race on here, ever. So, I don't know how much they hurt. I have an idea from watching other people ride around in pain. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna start racing though. I'm doing that uh, Justin on the stream and throwing right ons my way. What a guy. Um, I'm, doing the, uh, I'm doing the triathlon academy on here. 
So that's a bunch of racing. So I'll be doing that. So buckle up, baby. And I'm going to New York for six weeks, starting next week. So my stream's gonna go look a lot different. Hopefully they're not terrible, you know? Yeah, I have, Kit and I have so much to learn about that. Yeah, this, it's the strategy that blows my mind that I need to learn, like that kind of stuff. Cause that's, I'm short, man, over my head. <laughs> but yeah, that's, uh, that's what I need to learn. So what I'm thinking, yeah, I need to do that. You're right, kid. Do some group rides. Yeah. I do have to get better at that. What I'm hoping, too, is my coach, Jason, from Team ODZ. Everyone knows that guy. Um, he, hopefully, he can hop on a Discord for my race and be like, all right, punch it here. You know, slow down. Get to the, you know what I mean? And kind of live coach me. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, Jason's like the nicest guy in the world. Yeah, I'm definitely, Jerry, I, I don't know what cat I'm in. Probably C, right? I'd assume I'm probably a C guy. So you dump the tank early to get to the front in that pack. And then everyone kind of settles in. And then it's, you know, strategy from there on out, huh? Yeah, Kit never done a crit either. So, never done a lot of things. Never done a lot of things, so we'll get there. <laughs> One brick, like a Lego house. Brick by brick, baby. All right, cool. Strong C, I'm in, baby. Better than a week B. Not true, but I'll tell myself that. <laughs> I'm on Swift Power too. I don't think it calculates. I don't think it, I don't know. Isn't that only for races maybe? I don't know. Oh, so there you go. Yeah, so my FTP, all right, so my FTP is two, 50 something, I think. I'm 160 pounds. Don't ask me in kilograms, so I have no idea. <laughs> I'm 5'7, 160. I'm not like your typical cyclist who's 5'7 and 25 pounds. <laughs> Just kidding. Not really, but kind of. <laughs> yeah, so two, 250, I think it's 250, hold on. Let's see. We can look it up in here, right? Eh? 250. There it is. Back! There we go. Trying to do that at the same time. Oh, damn it. Comfortably in the B. I'd rather be a strong C. Just kidding, just kidding. So I'm a B, huh? All right. Yeah, that's true. The bike fire, that's why I like, iron sharpens iron. You're not gonna get better you're not gonna get better racing fools, right? Kitten, that makes sense. Because people who are racing in C may not have the ability to push it as much, but have better strategy, right? Maybe, I, maybe I'll just go the exact opposite end of the spectrum and just literally do races every day. My fiance just looked at me and rolled her eyes. <laughs> yeah. So when you say ZP record, that's Zwift power, right? 
I'm still a noob. <laughs> How do you get DQ'd in a race like that? Hey, I don't think I'm gaining 16 pounds. That's not gonna happen. I eat a ton just to stay at 160. Believe it or not, when I played football, I played uh, professional indoor football, I fluctuated between 180 and 185. So think about that. Yeah, I was a lot thicker. You know, still only 5'7", but. So C racing is for people 2.5 to 3. And I'm where? Three point one. The bar's back. I know he can weigh in. So they DQ if you're too good. They'd be like, you shouldn't be in this race. Ah, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Ha! No, not at all. See, you Dutch take everything literally. Um, no, talking about uh, racing and what categories I should be in. Huh, that's interesting, the bike bar. I had no idea that that was... So that's how they basically like govern it, right? That's kind of cool. That makes sense. It's cool that they pay attention to that, you know, and... Make sure people aren't. Yeah, I vote for a C racer. So if I'm going too hard, I just ease off the throttle a little bit, right? It's like, whoa, too hard, too hard. By the way, we're taking guesses. We're taking guesses. I said, I think I'm gonna get the switch back four with this workout. That's my estimation, but I don't know. Anyone else have any guesses? You win a big smile from me. <laughs> yeah, I don't care about qualifying or anything on this thing, you know. I just care about training and figuring out the best way to go about doing stuff, you know. I think all right guys, that's the move. See it is. See it is. Yeah, and uh, you know it's crazy too in the US for triathlon. Um, drafting is usually illegal, um, but at the national championships and at the world championships, it's draft illegal. So it's an interesting dynamic that every race you do over here, you get DQ'd if you're like, I think it's three bike lengths. <laughs> What's up, Onyx? How are you, dog? Coming in hot, baby. All right, DeBard. Yeah, but I gotta, I gotta figure out how to race, you know? So you're a B. See, I knew you had, I knew you knew what was going on. Ooh, a full hour race. That sounds intense. Wow. Kitten going shots fired. Bang, bang. It seems like a difficult strategy. I don't know. I was gonna go slow, die, and lose. But you seem to know what you're talking about, so I might go with yours. It sounds better. <laughs> you're fat. Oh, stop it, Onyx. You stop it. Yeah, I will, OJ. It's not, it probably won't be until October, you know. I still got another week in Texas. Just kind of getting ready to leave. And then uh, when I get it all set up in New York, that'll be when I hit it. I don't want to get banned from Twitch. I mean, I get blackballed, blacklisted, you know? <laughs> Hopefully not. Then I'll just go over to Soul Cycle. I'll go over to uh, Peloton with the nice ladies that yell at you the whole time. <laughs> oh, 
those Pelotons are pretty cool. I think this is cooler though, in my humble opinion. <sighs> All right. All right, Jerry. Thanks for coming again, man. Good to see you. Good to talk to you. So what, this is our third one, I think. Right, third one of these sessions. Got two more after this. It's a nice ride up the mountain again. I'll be on, Jerry. I'll be looking. I just have Twitch on all day, every day. Working from home has been great for my Twitch viewership. <laughs> it's awesome. I got this big Roku TV. It was like a hundred bucks. It's wonderful. Yes, Onyx. You have my permission. If you need me to write you a note, I got you, dog. I used to play World of Warcraft. It's a cool game. It got too complicated though and I got frustrated. I'm a Mario guy. I like all the Mario games. Because I'm seven. If I'm the size of a seven-year-old, I might as well act like a seven-year-old, right? All right. Onyx, we were just talking about earlier. I, I'm gonna be doing a half marathon in Buffalo. I think I'm gonna try to do it IRL again. It won't be as much fun though. But, I'll have it on my chest. So you see when I'm running. Man, what's up baby? Hey, the bike bar, right? Seriously, that means a lot. Um, in March, I didn't even own a laptop, so I didn't know how to do any of this stuff. <laughs> so that really does mean quite a bit. So thank you. Thank you very much. It's much appreciated. Have a great day down under. I'm in Texas, by the way. I don't know if you knew that. I'm in Dallas, Texas. But have a great day. Thank you. They only have a half, Onyx. Quit yelling at me. Just gonna go for arrow bars to friend's house. There you go. Matt, we were talking about you earlier. You've got <laughs> karma. The bike bar. You got karma, you got a goat scream. Great way to get out of here. <laughs> That's great, man. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. What's it, Dallas? Corbin Dallas. Remember from the fifth element? Sixth element? Fifth element, right? Corbin Dallas. Multipass. <laughs> so, Kitten, what's uh, what's auto sis? That sounds like a thrilling, thrilling job you have there. <laughs> sounds like you're much smarter than I. That's... Here we go, Matt. Look, and I got the arrows right here. Boom. Whew. Can't see them. But yeah, look at me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How'd you get the arrows? Onyx, you hate the stream avatars, huh? All right, you know what? How about this? No mas. I'm a man of the people especially for those that have subscribed and given bits. So how about that, Onyx? I got you, dog. Oh, okay. Well, they're gone. So there you go. <laughs> wow, Kitten, you sound like you're, you and Onyx get along very well. Technology is super interesting and it's impressive that you know that. And I don't know a damn thing about any of that stuff. That's awesome, man. That's cool. If it frees up time for you to hang out and talk to me, then I love it and I appreciate it. So thank you. You're a skate park bro, come on. Please explain. 
explain what a skate park pro is. Like, obviously, it has to do with being a professional and skate parks. I don't know the correlation. <laughs> All right. Onyx, that's a crazy job, man. Okay, kitten, I got you. I make calls all day, too. I have a ton of calls to make today. <laughs> a park. What do you mean explain what a park? <laughs> Don't you hate on us Texans? I'm a New Yorker in Texas. So what's that make me? A loser? Smart. That's what that makes me. <laughs> Look at this. We're connecting people. Look at this. <laughs> That's funny. By the way, my first day on the phones for my new job was Tuesday. Got a big sale on Tuesday. Got a bigger sale on Wednesday. Let's go! I have a feeling I'm gonna like this job. Okay, here comes the skate park story. So, I grew up skateboarding, and on my days off, I would go to the local skate park, okay? What if that's it, that's the story? Turns out the park was owned and built by the same guy. Oh, okay. I'll tell you, man, small world. That's why I talk to everybody. You never know. What, what don't I know? I don't know. That's why you never know. <laughs> so it turned out the park was owned. Same guy who owned MBNA. His son skated there with me. And I showed him how to do a few tricks. Okay. So Kitten, you're like, you're one of those like edge of society guys. You like, fuck the rules, man. Rules are made to be broken. <laughs> I thought that was you typing. I'm like, now playing Illusion by Harise. <laughs> A few months later, the owner of the company called my boss, said, I want this guy to come teach the kids. Wow. That's cool. That's a cool gig right there. What a dream. Wow. See, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't have even like thought that connection. Like banks owning skate parks. Those are long shifts, but. Okay, so we're making a lot of money. <laughs> So you're working what? It's 10 hours a day. What are the bonuses? They give you a skateboard? Okay, that'd be cool. I'll tell you though, it's when you do something you love like that, I bet the time just flew by. That's so cool. I always thought, so I'm the kind of person who like, I love new hobbies, I love getting into new stuff and there's just simply not enough time to do everything I want to do. And skateboarding has always been one of those things. That's so cool. What a gig. What a gig. Yeah, growing up, some of my friends got into it, but I was always like a three sport athlete and then playing over the summer and I never like had the opportunity. And I, I'm the kind of person who when I do something, I just go all in. And if I can't go all in, I don't want to do it, you know? Well, there you go. Anytime you can get workers comp, that's a win. Let's go. Kitten, remind me, what part of the world are you from again? Oh, I bet. You're from Earth. Cool. Earth. I'm not from Earth. Grubby's not from Earth. Nice. Yeah, kid, I'm from Buffalo, but I live in Dallas now. But I was just wondering, 
just because uh, I don't know if skate parks were big like overseas or whatever. <laughs> Three dollars at the most. I don't want to be greedy. Oh, okay, very cool. I sold I sold a restaurant in Maine yesterday actually. So that was cool. So I like Maine. All right, I got a funny story about Maine. So I used to be a trainer at a gym and I was at Planet Fitness. And you know how like we'd get shipments of Planet Fitness water, you know, Planet Fitness labeled water. And the, you know, the trucks, the semis would pull up and we'd unload them. And you know how this trailer is registered to a state that has nothing to do with the driver who's driving it, you know? So our boss was from New York City. So we talked like this, you know? Like, hey, what are you doing over here? Let's go. Come on. Oh, you fucking doing this now. Hey, fuck, grab it. So it was like 105 degrees the day that this guy comes to drop the water off. And we are unloading it. The guy's like 120 years old. And he's helping us load the, uh, or helping us bring the pails of water to the front of the truck. Or we're grabbing them and taking them in. And it was hot as balls. And the guy from New York's real angry. And then he looks at the license plate and it says Maine. And the guy from New York's just talking shit to the guy who's right in front of us helping us. And he's like old and has a southern accent. It's obviously not from Maine. And my boss just goes, Dad, figures he's from Maine. <laughs> like, what the hell does that mean? What kind of stigma do people from Maine have? So that's like, that's been my inside joke for like over 10 years now. Whenever I hear, whenever I hear Maine get brought up, I, bring, I, I always bring up that story. The figures he's from Maine. <laughs> it's so stupid. Wow, damn kitten. Well, I'm happy to see that you realized that and came back. You know, it's, I tell you kitten, sometimes things like that, uh, sometimes things like that, you know, are a blessing in disguise, right? You gotta go through the bad to get to the good, right? I mean, my dad, bought me my first bike and then died two months later from opiates. So I, uh, you know, that for me, that's where that clicked. I'm like, all right, now I'm gonna do everything I possibly can to be as good at triathlon as I possibly can. Come here right now. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, man. People who go through shit, I feel like look at the world through a different lens, you know? That's right, that's right. There's no hurdle too high to get over, and you can always come back, right? It's just, love that attitude. Yeah, you found something you love, kitten. You didn't need to escape, you know, your reality anymore, you know? Well, that's super cool, that's a good story. Obviously, I'm not happy you went through bad time, but you know what I'm saying. Onyx, why'd you cheat, man? What'd you eat? So how old are you now, kitten? And it's never too late to find what you love, either. Think about that. 16 years ago, how different you were compared to where you are now, you know? That's right. Nothing but love, kitten. Nothing but love. That's a hell of a story, man. It's a hell of a story. That's cool. So you always remember that 30th birthday was not only big for leveling up to the 30s, but getting your bike. That's so cool. And I found your house. The bar, quit creeping, bro. 
Quit being weird. You on Google Earth right now? I see you in the hot tub. Ooh, that sounds good. Buffalo roast, baby. Go Buffalo. I'll never discourage you from supporting my hometown, baby. Kitten, that's awesome, man. That is so fucking cool. That is really a cool. I'm gonna give you a real ride on, man, in real life. That's awesome, that's so cool. Hey, Kitten, I'm gonna shoot you. Do you have Instagram or Twitter or anything? I appreciate that, Kitten. Go uh, follow me on Instagram or shoot me a DM. I'm gonna shoot you a DM after this, all right? Oh, I found you, all right, cool. Are you kidding a little bit? I just follow things, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Nothing but love, baby. Well, that was too devoured, but I'm gonna take that too. I'm dripping sweat, by the way. I'm happy that you're here to talk to me because my legs are not feeling it today. But we're doing it. No excuses, no regrets. Right? <laughs> no regrets. All right. Let's get through this damn tunnel. And we got one more to go. That's it. Then a mad dash to get ready for work. <laughs> Boom, baby. All right. I did legs today, Onyx. Poor choice. But when am I gonna do them, you know? Gotta do them. I was on my schedule for today. Ooh, I like this song. It sounds like uh, Nintendo music. The juggler, uh-oh. I gotta find the tennis balls. Huh. I'll do it at the end. Oh boy, more to the V Everest. <laughs> Kitten, I have a feeling, I have a feeling he likes being a troll and I enjoy it. All uh, right, DeBard was actually one of the first people that came on my stream, like when I first started. Onyx is awesome too. Onyx is very fun. You know what's cool is like, to see how the worlds collide. So, I'm just in my bedroom right now, you know, streaming, and when I brought this idea up to my fiance, she's like, if you're gonna ride your bike in front of strangers on the internet, cool. And she hears me yelling out these names, and at my race, oh, sorry, burps. At my race on Sunday, uh, she was like, oh, that's Ray, that's Onyx, that's Grubby, you know? So it was cool to see like those worlds colliding because she did the live stream. It was awesome. Yeah, she's like, that Onyx guy is awesome. He's really funny. I'm like, he is? I know. So yeah, it's cool to, uh, it is funny the deeper, the deeper that you dive into this world the more you try to explain it to people, they're like, what? <laughs> Jay Richter. Well, thank you for that ride, huh? So, woman, whoever you are. Absolutely. Yeah. So, DeBard, that's basically the next frontier that I have to explore. I don't even know what that means. What is a mod? Like a moderator? Is that what that means? Me and Onyx were supposed to go over a bot thing, but I uh, I couldn't make it that day, and we still, you know, got to set up another day. Well, that's why, Onyx, that's why I like comedy, because most comedians have gone through some dark times, and they don't look at the world as seriously as you know, others. That's fine. 
Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Oh, I see what you're saying. All right, yeah. I'll try to, I'll see if we can swear. Yeah, damn jobs are always getting in the way, Onyx. Damn jobs. At least I have a cool job. Oh, and you get a sword. That'll be the selling point for it. Babe, you want to be a mod in my chat? No, you get a sword. I'm in. I'll mod both you guys. How about that? Can I do that? Or would that not be good? I'll do it at the end. I promise. I got to do that and juggle. One more eight minute round of this. <laughs> Didn't realize how that came out, OJ. Didn't realize how that came out. <laughs> but I mean, let's call a spade a spade here, right? <laughs> Wu Tang Clan. <laughs> My buddy has a really cool Buffalo Bills Wu Tang like mix logo. It's really cat. It's really cool. I have no idea why either. But hey, some connection is forging your brain with those two things. Were you listening to Wu Tang when you were at Medieval Times once? <laughs> I don't know. Did you get stabbed? Were you jousting? When you're listening with Wu Tang blasting. <laughs> Jesus, Onyx. Well, 4,000 calories a meal. Jesus. Well, hey, man. You know we're all here for you, brother. We're all here for you. And you have my personal cell phone. So if you ever need to call, I'm always up. I never sleep. <laughs> and that's real, man. That's real. Please, if you ever need to chat, you shoot the shit, come to Dallas, let's go, baby. Let's hang out. San Antonio's our, you know, once we can start traveling a little bit more, we'll be going to San Antonio. <laughs> I'm just trying to, uh, you know, spitball off the top of my head here. <laughs> it looks like we might get to four. Switch back four, by the way. I called that out. We'll see, though. I don't know. It'll be close, I think. Almost done. See, this is what I'm talking about. I get all the way up this mountain, but not the end, because I just follow my workouts and I get up. <laughs> you took the train to school. That's pretty different. That's good, Onyx. It's one day at a time, though, you know, bro? No, I see what you're saying, Debar. And, uh, you know, a lot of people struggle with that stuff. And finding communities, I think, really is one of the best ways to you know, change things or maintain healthy uh, mind space, you know? And this, that's really this whole talking to people and for the commonality, but you know, in places we may not have ever found each other otherwise, you know? I think it's really cool. Yeah, kitten, anytime, brother. Shoot me, shoot me a DM on Instagram. I'll shoot you my number, too. That's right, Onyx. Because you just build on those. Right? Every goal that you achieve, just the next step. And the next step. Until you get so far down the road, you know, someone like Kitten, you look 16 years back, and you're like, how the hell was that me in the first place? Holy shit. You know? It makes sense, yeah micro goals because it's a conglomeration at the end of it everything you put together you know 
So things that you seem were impossible, thought would be impossible or, you know, unachievable, all of a sudden become commonplace. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's right, Debar. That's what I like about it too, and I like, what I like too is that, like you can compete and get better at the sport, but parallel, doesn't matter how good you are, and you just meet cool ass people and have nice conversations. You know, that's what draws me to it. It's so freaking cool. I mean, it's like, I look so forward to getting on here every day and chatting with you guys. And that's, that's for real, that's really, that's true. Whew, I'm struggling. <laughs> Not too hard, but we're getting there. Two minutes. Ha, Kenton, see you later, brother. Have fun. It was awesome as always, man. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. You're the man, great story. All right, minute and a half left, guys. Had a nice cool down when I'm out of here. All the above, OJ. No, there's no crying in cycling. <laughs> no, I, uh, the sweat is on the brim of my hat, but it's better than my face, you know? Look at that. We got the switchback four, I nailed it. I don't think we're going to get to three. We'll see, though. One more minute left for this bad boy. Woo! We're doing it, baby. Ha! That's also true, OJ. It's a great point. It's a great point. Ha! That's going to be, uh, what's his name, doing the uh, ramp test today. So yeah, haven't done it, haven't Zwift in like five months. So let's start with a ramp test. What? <laughs> That's like jumping in. It's like saying, yeah, I have never swam before and jumping into a pool head force first with your eyes open at chlorine. <laughs> All right, two minutes, here we go. Oh no, five minutes. I forgot about that second part. It's okay. Boom, hard part's over, look at that. Woo! Oh. I gotta start putting water here or something. At least the fan's in the right spot. What do you think about my cool lights? No one's ever commented on the lights. Do they look stupid? It took me like four hours to figure out how to turn the damn things on. I like this new setup though, I think it looks all right. And, I got a keyboard here. I don't know why I need that, but I figured, hey, in case I need a keyboard, I got a keyboard. Bar, looking at my body, all right. It's that kind of stream, huh? JK. JK. We might get the three. Nah, we're not gonna get the three. Too little power. <laughs> That's fair, hey. We're a welcoming community, baby. I don't give a shit. How do you guys mod the, uh, how do you guys mod the emotes like that? Also, Onyx, we got a schedule. 1607! Hello! Welcome! Onyx, we got scheduled time to figure out that bot. Out of normal office hours. <laughs> S. Haskell. With the win. With the ride on, baby. Oh, I did not know that. See? I don't know so much, man. Haskell is kitten. Ah, okay. Gotcha. So he uh, 
jumped off and threw a, threw a right arm. This with two Fs. What's with two Fs? I'm lost. Oh, Christopher, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, that's, that's the uh, European way of Christopher. Oh, that's pretty cool, Onyx. Considering I have no idea what the hell I even need a bot for. So what do I need a bot for? What is, what's the general overview of what those things do? I told you, I'm still learning. Day by day, I'm learning these uh, Twitch secrets. Secrets. Like everyone did. Okay. So I definitely want that, that's for sure. All right. Yeah, I tried to teach myself, but I just went down a rabbit hole where I got all confused. Hey! 1607 using the uh, the go for the Goldie mode. There you go, I like that. Sharp, cute. All right, so yeah, so someone puts like, so if 1607 was like, I'm gonna leave, I could be like, all right. 607 was like, I'm out of here, I gotta go ride. I can shout out their stream or something, right? Ah, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Yeah, I have no idea how I set that up. Wow, it's just almost, if you, it's like you called it. That's pretty wild. Yeah, I have no idea how I set that up. I have no idea. Not a clue. It just kind of happened. I think it may have asked me and I gave it permission or something. But, either way. It's there. I know all of you are really compelled by the music. Really obsessed with what uh, Press is playing here. Yeah, I figured. I certainly did not auto-populate or set up a bot to tell you what Press the song is playing. <laughs> Alright. We're at the finish line. Who are we going to raid? Anybody good on? Anybody good on? Oh, I also have to mod you, or uh, yeah. So, okay. We got a lot to do. I gotta do it quick. I gotta juggle too, that's right. All right, here we go. This is gonna come fast and furious at you. All right, here we go. 1% club! You've oh, got no. karma. Wow, 1% club. Working and working. Oh, something like that. <laughs> All right, Debard. 1%, welcome, welcome. Here we go, boom. All right, we're done. So now, here we go. Let's save this bad boy. All right, look at that. There's a Yeti. Okay. All right, so we're going to do this. All right, so who we got here? We got... You want to mod Onyx, right? Up, up, How it tells me my chat rules. Like, yeah, I made them. I know. Here we go. And then. Boom. How about that? All right, guys. Now it's the, now it's the show, baby. Hey, you come you come for the cycling, you stay for the juggling. <laughs> we'll get better at juggling, but hey, that's you know we're we're at the bottom of the barrel here. 
So who do we have? Who's on? Who do we want to go see? Who's Zwiftin? I've passed you to some terrible people recently, so I don't want to do that again. Well, there's only two people, so I'm not going to send you over. Yes, we'll do the 700 watch tomorrow, Onyx. I gotta get better. I gotta stop choosing things I suck at to be giving away watch. Alright, see you everybody. I'm just gonna end it here. See you tomorrow.